Okay, okay, so um, we're back now. I got my uh, EVA GA GeForce GTX 970 Super Super Clock in the case. It's a very simple process. Uh, you know, you just slide it in the slot until that little tab down in there pops up, and then I put my screws back in. Well, I had this out. Um, I also changed out my optical drive. It's a little too dark to see, probably, but um, anyways, I switched out the uh, DVD ROM that came with the com the computer when it started out, out life as an Acer Predator. Um, uh, HL Data Storage. So this is probably just uh, some generic brand. Or a rebadge it might actually be a name brand that's been rebadged. I put in a LG Blu-ray disc rewriter. And yes, I know my kale management is horrible. Like once again. Um, so when you're installing a graphics card, I'd say the most important thing is to make sure you have a decent power supply. Um, this is a XFX Pro 850 watt core edition full wired power supply. You normally um XFX power supplies, you have to keep an eye on some of them, like this one are really good. However, I've heard others are kind of crappily made. And this one here, you know, it has two 6-pin connectors that also can work as 8-pin connectors if you have a car that requires 8-pin connectors. And a little more about my case if you want on top here. I'm sorry about the bad lighting. We have, what is that, a sand... A SanDisk 256 gigabyte SSD. Then for my storage drive, I have a three terabyte um, Western Digital. I believe it's just a green drive, so it's nothing special, but it gets the job done. All right, so let me get the side case cover back on, and we'll see how this graphic card does. I like my influence. I'm kind of proud of that sticker. I got, um, yeah, I put that on there. I just got a kick out of it. But, all right. Let's see if I can get this on here with one hand. I'm having trouble with getting this on here with one hand, but, anyways, that's my graphics card installed. I'll maybe take a quick video after um, I get everything booted back up and set up. 